screen looks terrible guys but uh so i decided to put this all in the new project just to show you guys so again the plugin once you add it to the folder go ahead and add this these are the commands that you will need right oh um, i don't know what you're doing right? Control C. right so those are the commands that you need after you do so make sure in your game folder you have your visual equipments in there you, they're all named and stuff and then from there you go to your database you go to your armors and let's go ahead and clear all this armors up and then we just have two and then this one we are going to call wolf H -E -L -M. right and then we're going to paste this here get rid of these ones because we don't need these ones and then for here we're gonna go ahead and just clear this out and I'm just gonna go ahead and set this to zero right um, and then we need to find the name of that file which I completely forgot what it was Ooh, what is it? So if we go back into our image, go back into this, go back into Wolf Helm. Oh. Wolf Helm. Right? And then database. Wolf Helm. Paste it. So you put the command show the name of the file, layer, the layer you wanted to show in, apply, hit OK, and this is general armor. And you can wear so. So if we go ahead and make a treasure chest, armor, wolf helm, let's go ahead and zoom in. Sorry for the terrible screen, I had to lower my resolution. <sighs> okay. So if we go, Jesus, that is slow. Put this. Oh. As you can see. He now has the wolf helmet on. Yay, wolf helmet. Yay, right? So now let's say you want to conditionally render what what shows up based on like a variable or something like that. I got you. You could do that. So if you go back into your database and then we go back into our armor. So let's go ahead and do this one. And we're gonna call this just a helm, right? I'm gonna paste those come ooh no. I'm gonna come back, actually save this, go back into the plugin, go back into here. We need to get these commands. Um let's get that too. I keep doing that. Control C. So get those commands, come back over here, come back over here. Um the second one. Paste this here, get rid of all of this. Ooh, not all of that. So I'm going to explain the commands to you. We're not using all of them. We're only just going to use one, but I kind of copied all of them so I can tell you exactly what they all do. After I get rid of all of these. Okay. So show layer order is the order in which obviously the equipment will get drawn on. So if it's, if both of them are like, let's say for example, they draw on the same chess piece but you have one at zero and one at one the one that's one will be on top right this is still work in progress by the way um this comes so for example this will show the name of the file if a certain switch is on and it will show a different name if a certain switch is off right the one i usually like to use is the variable one um especially with my character creator it works great because you could change what equipment shows up depending on the gender or race or whatever you want um, for the people so again the format is the same so you just put show you put the name of the file right and then after that you put the underscore um the the number of the variable the variable id and then if it's true or false whichever one you want to check for right so these two are essentially the same the only thing that's different is the true and false right let's get rid of those 
this one is the variable so um let's go ahead and copy the name of this um then again so name of file right and then the variable id so let's go ahead and make that variable one and then what we want it to equal so let's say if it's equal to one right show wolf helm so i could copy this command paste it again and then that same variable if it's equals to two i want to show a different piece of equipment so let's go ahead and Then change the name, paste HTT, save this, and then copy, paste, edit, change that to home. And then we need a switch flipper, switch flipper, switch flipper. Um, set it to one. Actually, set it to two. I'm gonna set this to one. Okay. So now, if we test this, it should conditionally, condition, con whatever that word is, conditionally. Right? So again, if we put on the regular wolf helm. Right, that's the body. Right, we'll see the wolf helm no matter what, what this switch is. Right, and then if we go ahead and equip the other one, the regular helm. Right, oh, did something wrong. One second, two database show rebel one. one. Oh. Sorry, so so sorry. You actually have to put um Yeah, you actually have to put that there. Save. Come back over here. Come back over here. Right? Yay! So depending on that switch, I will have a different helmet. It takes a little bit to to zoom it, to you know, like come kind of come in, but you wouldn't want to do this. Um, this wouldn't be something you. I mean, you could do it on the fly like this, but this is mainly like let's say you, you are like a male and then you put the armor on you always be a male so we don't be switching like this um but yeah that's pretty much it it's pretty much it pretty much pretty much it that's it guys that's it come on followers follow I'm a new leader. I got a different hat on now. So, guys, thank you guys again for tuning in. Thank you guys again for all the purchases. I'm going to be updating the plugins the second I get time. I'm so... Again, thank you guys all for the support. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share the video.